uh, a very big hi to everyone. Uh, hope you're all doing good during this pandemic period. Uh, today, today, let's have a small chit chat on uh, how uh, an experience helped me to take care of India in a very good way. Uh, let's start from our first air travel. Uh, yeah, our air travel. Uh, it was on July 1st. Uh, we started our travel from the capital of God's own country uh, through Qatar Airways. Um, during our travel, uh, I won't address it. I think uh, no one can find me that I am pregnant. If I have a photo of that, I will leave that here. Uh, and during the start of our travel in the uh, airport, they were very helpful when they came to know that uh, he was a privileged customer uh, or a frequent uh, flyer of Qatar Airways. Uh, they helped as a lot uh, in a very good way after knowing that I am pregnant. And when we landed in Doha, I was very hungry. <laughs> that was very, very, very odd for my days of pregnancy. So I asked uh, a cup of coffee because it's around 6.30 in the morning, uh, if I'm not sure. Uh, it's early hours of Ramadan, uh, Ramzan, I guess. So, um, on, on the way to the next gate of the connectivity flight, uh, I, I drank a cup of coffee. I, I remember uh, drinking the coffee during the walk to the gateway. So when we reached the gateway, the flight was about to uh, take off. I mean, uh, they were waiting for us. So the people in front of the gate uh, asked me, uh, are you pregnant? I was shocked because no one in India find uh, that a difference. And they asked me, uh, are you pregnant? So there is no other way uh, just to uh, respond yes. So we responded yes. And then uh, they asked us to show the report. Uh, thanks to my aunt, uh, she gave a very clear report. Uh, I mean, uh, from day one of my uh, admission in the hospital uh, till the uh, travel day. And we had a scan uh, from Nagapuril which uh, showed very clear uh, explanation. And I, if I'm not sure, they asked me uh, who asked you to drink the cup of coffee. Uh, I don't remember the same because uh, they were in a hurry to arrange something. Uh, they asked us, uh, did you convey this to the airlines uh, before uh, booking the ticket? He replied, uh, no, we have it. So they asked, uh, uh, it must be uh, recorded uh, for the safe, for us to take safety measures. Uh, I was like, what safety measures do they want to take? Then as soon as uh, we entered the flight, uh, something, something happened. Now they were arranging something near our uh, uh, seat because uh, the, it, it, you, it, because it's uh, very. Uh, free flight, like means uh, there were very few people uh, since we traveled during an odd time. Uh, so they kept something behind my seat, but I don't know what they kept. Uh, but I believe that uh, that is some uh, medical kit or something in case of emergency. And to my shock, uh, when the flight took off. I thought, okay, uh, uh, thing happens because I had experienced uh, same thing uh, from random uh, si since uh, it's the same flight of connectivity. Uh, I had okay, uh, it will be very simple. As soon as it started taking off, I felt that my coffee started coming up. Words. Like uh, it's coming through my uh, from the stomach, it's coming all the way through the esophagus upwards, and I was like, uh, uh, I can't breathe in. Some uh, I was like, uh, someone is holding my neck. Uh, uh, 
without anybody i was like oh god what is this uh, i tapped my chest and tapped my back uh, so it started tapping back uh, in here and uh, crew came and a member of the crew came and she talked on my leg and everything happened and maybe they have given some information to the uh, got uh, to the senior uh, crew and suddenly the flight uh, and there was a difference in pressure so suddenly i took a deep breath and i was like oh god uh, my life is back that was my expression and fine after this they were very 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 helpful uh, whenever i wake up Uh, they ask me uh, whatever I need, they can help me. And uh, they were ready to massage my uh, legs because it started swelling uh, a little. And they were like, uh, they asked me to. Uh, they were uh, free seats and they asked me to lie down. Okay, this is better because uh, to the medical history, I was without. Uh, I was like uh, I was in, in zero vomit a time period of around ten hours or fifteen hours. So till the travel, I was I felt uh, no symptom of uh, HG. So I uh, this experience uh, made me to uh, think of what is the reason for the upward movement of the coffee. So I read a lot, and I found that some pressure changes will lead to this. Finally, uh, Inia was born, and after Inia's birth, around uh, uh, I think May end, uh, the last week, uh, I think we returned on May twenty nine or something. I think May end we returned from Sweden. So we took the flight to yeah, Berlin uh, to. Sweden and uh, something uh, because of some uh, issues they returned us to uh, yeah, Germany by Scandinavian Airways. So this happened and as soon as when we entered the flight during the takeoff, they asked me to feed India. I was like, this shouldn't happen to India again. Okay? So I I I made a tether. Uh, with the caution, I uh, in a rush I made the tether. Uh, within two two days, uh, I mean, I started the day before the travel and I ended up uh, on the day of travel. So I made the tether and uh, I gave the tether uh, for her during the flight takeoff uh, because uh, I know that feeding uh, may bring the milk upwards and she may suffer uh, breathing. So, it, when she bites the teeth, er, and uh, uh, when the pressure changes, we just need to uh, edit ear low a little low. So that's all. The pressure uh, uh, change will be handled by the um, kids. I did this, and during the return travel also did the same, and nothing happened. And then the flight uh, uh, goes to a particular height. A particular altitude, uh, we can uh, start feeding. But from Germany to Sweden, there is no. Uh, it means it uh, take off and then landing. That is the happening of like because of that distance. I did this and I was shocked uh, when I read the news that uh, a kid, uh, I think, returning to India. Uh, died because of feeding in flight during land off. Land. It must be. Uh, it must be uh, conveyed to every parent. Uh, either nowadays there are so many articles on it. They should read it. Uh, with, uh, with, uh, taking a three-month-old uh, in different uh, heights. Uh, even climbing a mountain of certain altitude will reduce the pressure. Uh, I mean, uh, there will be changes in pressure. 
of our body. So we should take care of the baby, uh, and it must be conveyed to your uh, parents of newborn uh, because they are very eager. Uh, I mean, especially those who are living abroad, they are very eager to take uh, the kids to their hometown in India uh, or anywhere to their hometown. But I have seen so many people uh, from uh, Asia that you know, they wait for around three years uh, to take the kids, or minimum two years. Uh, in uh, uh, till the second birthday, they will wait uh, to take the baby. So this is how my experience saved my daughter uh, without getting any breathing issues during flight travel and. Other experience which we had during our flight travel will be followed in this chat with India. Bye!